Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm gonna check out this pedal. And it's kind of kind of a special one. And usually when I start my videos, uh, it's always me talking about stuff. But how about we have the one that actually designed the pedal. Mr. Andrew Barta, the head designer and founder of Tech21. The guy that actually made this pedal from scratch. The XXL. So let's hear what Andrew has to say about it. Happy about you asking about the XXL because yeah. that's one of my most misunderstood product and one of my favorite product. Okay, <laughs> a lot of people didn't get it. They didn't oh. get you know what it does and how it does it. And many people said like I'm turning the warp and it doesn't work. It doesn't, doesn't work, work. Huh? because they didn't know how to use it. You know like what it's supposed to do and they thought it was broken but you know you you have to have a certain style of playing to use that but originally the whole idea came from i have a collection of uh, marshals you know mm -hmm. actually yeah. it's i show you if, if, if you can see um uh da, 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 da. way back there see it's like oh my God. Yeah. Four, five Five, actually I have six, right? Anyway, so I always analyze them and uh, and I noticed that there was something like they do, which is that squeezing of the sound, you know, that no distortion box did, you know, or no box did. Like all these diode clippers, they just chop off the top and the bottom and that's it. Yeah. So it's, the whole sound is very like, uh, uniform, like monophonic, like almost like those old, old synths that you pushed hard or soft, it's always plays the same. So that's the problem with a lot of uh, distortion boxes that they do that. But amps, yeah. on the other hand, they're dynamic, right? So you can modulate how, how, how they sound, how loud they sound, even though they are distorted. So I, I was set out to do something about it, and this was like, I don't know, 20 years ago. <laughs> and that's how the XSL was born. So hopefully you understand what the XXL is, and that's why you asked about it. But I was very excited when you asked about it because, as I said, it's one of my babies, you know, that that people just never really understood properly. And, uh, and I'm uh, glad that there are some people who do. Well, let's go back then to the idea of this pedal. Why, why did you design it, and how is, how is it supposed to be used? Well, um, as I said, like, I was missing all from all other boxes that, that feature that it's kind of like um, compresses the sound, there's a technical aspect of it. I can talk about it. A lot of people are not going to understand. Oh. But basically, when you clip a signal, you symmetrically clip it. It's called a duty cycle, how much mm -hmm. you have of one cycle and mm -hmm. then the other cycle compare. So when the duty cycle, like in synthesizers, you can adjust that. When it gets narrower, you get more of the even harmonics, okay? And even harmonics are, are like making the sound much thicker. And most distortion boxes, they generate only odd harmonics because they symmetrically clip, but they don't modulate the, uh, the, um, the duty cycle. That's what it's called, the width of the signal. Mm. What, what, would be, what would be an example of that? What kind of pedal? It's like a distortion, a regular boss well, distortion. Back then, when, when I designed this, there uh, was not many things out on the market. Not like now, there's over 2,000 distortion yeah. boxes. <laughs> but for example, like the MXR Distortion uh, Plus. Plus, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, there's a clipper. And it's good, but you still need a good amp to make it as a combination to make it into a good sound. Otherwise, it's very like monophonic. It doesn't mm. have any dynamics to it. So what happens is that uh, I wanted to build a box that, that gives you that. And by the way, even tube amps, they don't do this until you really turn them up real loud. So what I wanted to do is have a box that does this and you can control your amp at the lower volume, but you still get that thick, you know, uh, sound, mm -hmm. and that's how the XXL was born. And uh, when you plug it into, for example, an amp, it was really designed plugged into an amp like a normal channel on a Marshall. 
so you're not getting the extra brightness. And then you get a very thick sound that you can really modulate the sound with palm muting or soft picking or hard picking. It gives you a lot of different tonalities that you mm. don't get from other boxes. Mm. Mm. Let's but talk about what you the did. Yeah. Just the control, and the warp control. You talked about it yourself, but just that's the one. Yes. To explain yes. what it actually does. Yeah, that's what it does. It adds the even harmonics. As a matter of fact, okay. mm. when you hook it up to an oscilloscope, you can see that it not only clips the signal on the top mm. and on the bottom, but also squeezes it like uh, horizontally. And it does some other trickery. But you're right. Also, the tone control is unusual. You know, mm. it's not your normal tone control. Uh, that was also developed because. I find that many times guitar amps, you put on uh, your pedal and all the bottom drops out. You mm. know, there's no more bottom left because your pedal cuts bottom to make it nice and tight, but doesn't add it back on. So I addressed that problem with, with the unique tone control. And by the way, like any time that I set out to design the product, I always try to design something that is unique because why just copy somebody else's design? Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. in every respect, I always try to create something that is new. And by the way, it's a good uh, example of this pedal that it's, uh, was picked up by Metallica, the bass player, actually. Oh, really? Originally, Jason Newstead uh, used this. And then when the new uh, bass player came on board, uh, Tru 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 Yeah. They actually made him buy it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So he had to come on board with the same XXL because uh, it had a very particular sound on bass. You know, oh, really? I designed it for guitar, but I tell you, a lot of time, guitar products work really well on bass. And I guess that's one of the reasons what you discovered is that the low end is so powerful that I think it was really useful for bass also. That's uh, great. You, you, you talked about a lot of people misusing this and misunderstanding it. What were they doing and how have they been using it wrong? Well, as I said, like they're turning the, the um, warp control and they're not hearing the difference. Mm -hmm. Because one of the uh, reasons is that if you play very lightly on your guitar, you're not actually triggering that effect. So when you dig in and the warp is turned up, then you're going to hear like it's the attack because but there are people who play very lightly, you know, like the pick attack is very light. They're hardly touching the uh, strings. They're not going to hear the difference, you know. So, as I said, we used to have like in the service problems, people, who, you know, calling, I want to send it back because <laughs> it's I'm turning the knob and it's not doing anything, you know. So that's how they were misusing it. They, they got the distortion part and, and the tone, but the warp was always like kind of like, what does that do? I didn't understand. Warp is basically means in English like a, also a distortion, but a different kind. You're warping, like for example, you're warping like a piece of metal, you know, it's warped. Yeah. Right? yeah. So it's distorted, it's not straight. That's how the name came about, also calling it warp, because it's not your normal distortion. So now I'm going to try it out and see how it sounds. And uh, as my bass tone, I'm trying to recreate what Andrew suggested. Uh, Marshall amp on the normal channel. It's uh, like a plex with a normal channel. So it's not super bright, but yeah, something in that territory. So here's my bass tone. <laughs> And it has four controls, it's level, it's drive, it's tone, and then it's warp. And level, well, that's the volume of it, so that's not much to show. But I'm going to show the drive, the tone, and the warp, because these three are really special and affected in a very special way compared to other pedals. So let's start with the drive. I'm going to start with uh, the drive at zero. Uh, 
Okay, here the drive is at halfway, straight up. Okay, now I've turned back the drive and let's try the tone control. Let's turn that all the way off. And here's the tone control at half. And finally, the tone control at full blast. And now I've turned back the tone dial to a more mid setting. And finally, I'm gonna try the most unique feature of this pedal, the warp. So let's start with that at zero. And here it is halfway up. And finally, full warp. Yes, I hope you found this useful and uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment and I'll get back to you soon. This has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd reviewing the Tech 21 XXL and I want to send out a big thank you to Ander Barta from Tech 21 who took the time and really was really generous and told me a lot about the pedal and about this company as a whole and his, his journey basically. So thanks a lot. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.